two passages of scripture this morning. Uh, the first one we will come out of Matthew chapter 27, verse 40 to 42. Matthew 27, verse 43. He saved others. Yeah. Himself, he cannot save. Yes. Uh -huh. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross. Uh -huh. And we will believe him. My Lord. He trusted in God. Let uh -huh. him deliver him now. Yes. If he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. Yes, he is. The thieves also which were crucified with him. Uh -huh. Cast the same in his teeth. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I want to turn over to the book of Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 1, mm -hmm. the last two passages of Scripture, 17 and 18. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 17 and 18. And it reads, I gave my heart to know wisdom mm -hmm. and to know madness and folly. I perceive that there is also a vexation of spirit. Yeah. For in much wisdom mm -hmm. is much grief. That's right. And he that increases knowledge yeah. increases suffering. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. Amen. May the Lord have the blessings to the hearers, readers, and endurers of his word. Amen. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord shall stand forever. I will be using for a subject this morning. Voice of unholy preachers. Take heed to this message. Amen. Voice of unholy preachers. Amen. Take heed to this message. Amen. How many know we live in a day and time where right is wrong? Come on, sir. And wrong is right. Yes, Lord. Right is wrong. And wrong is right. And if you don't, if you are not troubled about what's going on in today's society, you have to ask yourself a question. Are you being led? By the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. If what you're seeing in today does not trouble you, you have to ask yourself, are you hearing from the Spirit of God? Yes, Lord. We are in a time where the church cannot be the salt of the earth if we keep giving out sugar-coated sermons. Take your time, sir. Let me say that again. We cannot be the salt of the earth if we continue to give sugar-coated messages. All right. On this past week, many of you all have been following on social media. A church had a party on New Year's Eve Come on, sir. where they played a song called Walk It Out. Come on, sir. Oh. My Lord. And they showed videos from that service, mm. and they were having a party in the temple of the Lord. Another pastor had a sermon called Kiss My Black Pants. Come on, sir. Kiss My Black Pants. All right. Now, you and I all, as African Americans, understand the connotation. Jesus. We have other pastors talking about growing marijuana in the church to attract young men and boys. What about growing food? That part. That part. That you can feed your community. How many know the word of God is like fire? Yes, sir. Wrapped up in my bones. Jeremiah said it was like fire that shot up in my bones. Yes. And the preaching of the word of God is also like a rock. Yes. The Lord is my rock and yes. my salvation. salvation. Yes, sir. And how many know the word of the Lord can break up some hardness that we all have? Yes, Lord. Who here has a little bit hard areas in your heart that you're still dealing with? Yes, Lord. The Lord's word is like a rock. Then the Bible says his word is like a sword. Yes. The sword of the spirit. spirit. And it cuts out those parts. It dissects it and, it and it works on our hearts and it cuts out those parts in our hearts that need to be cut out. Uh -huh. Who here has some areas in your heart that need to be Cut out. Yes, sir. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. But the world lasts because the world does not understand what the real church is. All right. He died. 
Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, he died. Didn't he die? Yes, sir. But we know early one Sunday morning, yes. he got up with what? Power. All power. power. In his hand. Yes, sir. So I can say, living he loved me. Yes, sir. Dying, Dying he saved me. Yes, Lord. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Yes, Bobby Lord. Bobby rising, he what? Justified. Justified. And he has freed us forever. Yes, sir. There was a man named Dr. Whitehead. He was an unholy skeptic of the church. And he says, how can those Christians go down there every Sunday and worship a God that they don't see? Right. He laughed and he called us idiots. Yes, Lord. You all are idiots for going to a search to worship an invisible God. Yes, Lord. However, the preacher responded. Yes, Lord. The fool has said in his heart, uh -huh. there is no God. There is no God. You, my friend, are a foolish man. Yes, Lord. So I'd rather be an idiot for Christ because I know to be absent from this body uh -huh. is to be present, present with the Lord. With the Lord. Uh -huh. An unholy preacher. This statement does not even go together. It's what we call a dichotomy. It's a polar opposite. A contrast between two. Man. How can you be a preacher and unholy? Yeah. How? How? How can you be a preacher mm -hmm. and unholy? Yeah. Unless you have not been sent. Yeah. Now, I mean, you know, we live in a day and time where most people are sending themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you are a holy preacher, yes. this sermon will cause you to maybe do some reflection and search within yourself. And you will not be offended by this message. But if you are unholy, you will be offended. My God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Too many of our churches are being led astray by unholy preachers. That's right. They saved on Sunday, but God called them to preach on Monday. Come on, sir. And they don't want to sit under anyone and learn instructions. So what they do is they start churches we call church of the offense. Uh -huh. They built the church because I can't do what I want to do over in that church, so I'm going to start my own church. My God. See, these folks have no substance because they have not been taught or called by God. Yes. See, they enjoy the applause because they give folks sugar laden milk toast sermons. Oh, you better come and preach today. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. They are man pleasers, but they are not God pleasers. Come on, sir. How many know being called to the ministry requires being called? Yes, sir. I'll stop right there. <laughs> being called to the ministry means you've been called. Come on, and sir. submitting yourself to God and elders of those who have charge over you. You have to be taught. Yes. I hear a lot of folks say, I, I can teach myself. If that was the case, we might as well close all public schools. All public schools. You cannot teach yourself. Yes, you can study. You can. You're showing yourself a proof. You can. But you need a teacher to help you to break and understand the word of God. Come on, sir. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus taught the apostles for three long years. Paul, who wrote 12, arguably 13 epistles of the New Testament, had to go away for three years to Arabia to be taught to before he could preach the gospel. How many know nothing replaces anointed teaching and preaching? Yeah, all right, sir. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Nothing that replaces anointed teaching teaching or preaching. Yes, sir. Yes. So today we have many churches full of unholy preachers. Yes. They are a mile wide, yes, but Lord. an inch deep. Hallelujah, somebody. See, there is no depth to their wisdom, and they lack understanding because they don't have the Spirit of God leading them. If you had the Spirit of God, you would not have been plan walking out in your church. We don't have to attract them with the world. The church is called to be set aside and separate. We have a new song. We have a new 
walk. Yes, we have Lord. a new talk. New talk. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, Lord. A holy walk. We have a holy walk. Yes, sir. There is no depth to their wisdom and understanding because they don't have the spirit yes. of God. Uh -huh. They are what Jew says. They're clouds without water. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clouds without water. See, a cloud is supposed to cover and bring some water to fertile the ground and bring some crops about. Oh, yeah. But these folks are covering yes, Lord. but they're over parched land. Right. Yes, sir. They're over parched ground. There's nothing coming out from them. That's why folks come in there unholy and they leave unholy. Yes, sir. And they get offended when you preach the true gospel. How you know God says the word is like a rock of offense? Yeah. How do the word is a rock of offense? Yes, sir. It's here to offend those who come out of their sin. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, Lord. And when you don't have the Holy Spirit, you will build a church built on emotion. Yeah. How many know emotions can fool you sometimes? Yes, they can. The emotions can fool you. Yes, and if you build a church strictly on emotions, your church will die on emotions. Yes. So each week, Pastor Clark, you need to bring a gimmick. All right. Come on. We need to bring a gimmick to the church to keep the people coming. Come on. So if I don't give you a gimmick, you get bored. But how many know I don't need a gimmick? Come on, sir. I will enter yes, Lord. these gates with thanksgiving. I will enter the courtyards with praise. Because when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. That right there is enough to make me want to say, Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for saving me. How many of y'all thank God for your salvation today? How many of y'all thank God that if you need this earth today, you will be in the presence of the most high God? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. A church built on styles and trends will die. Yes, Lord. I used to wear a fubu. Come on. <laughs> All right. I used to wear cross colors. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm an Asian myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all here to wear bell vibes. Yeah. Amen. And platforms. Uh -oh. But those things are gone out of style. Yes, Lord. And if you are a church that worries about trends and styles, you will develop people who are fickle and they will deviate. Yes, Lord. But a church built on Christ, the side of the rock I stand. Yes. All other ground is sinking sand. And how many know God said, the gates of hell, yes, sir. the gates of hell shall not prevail. Yes, Lord. Unholy is defined as the absence of righteousness. Yes, Lord. It means ungodly, profane, or irreverent. Mm -hmm. A preacher is defined as one who preaches the gospel. A minister of the faith. How shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they hear without a preacher? See, the question is, many people in the church still don't believe. Yes, Lord. Because they are receiving an unholy yes. word from a man who has not been called by God. That's it. Hell, hell. I know that's not popular preaching. I'm not here to please the people. Uh -huh. I'm here to get, to get what thus says yes. the Lord. I'm going to preach what God yes. said because this word needs to go out yes. on these ass. People are leaving the church because preachers are unholy. Can I get one or two witnesses? Mm -hmm. And as the deity of Jesus was denied then, it's being denied today. Yes. All right. But as for me, Jesus is the Christ. Yes, sir. How many know he is the son of the living God? So again, I can say, living he loved me. Yes, sir. Dying he saved me. Yes, Lord. Buried. How many know he said he buried but sins far away? He buried the sin. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. I told my daughter I was 19 for 12 months. <laughs> I was 20 for 12 months. Yes, Lord. And there's nothing new under the sun. Yes, Lord. And God, they dealt it. I felt it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all have a history. Yes. How many of you know we all have a history? Yes, sir. But living, he loved me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified. How many of you know? Walk away. We cannot walk away from this. We 
Oh, this is not a job I can say I quit. Because if I quit, I will be in the hands of a living God. And I'd rather be, I don't want to be in the hands of an angry God. Thank you, Lord. But this man said, they told me to quit. Doc, I only got two people over there. What are you doing? You need to hook up with us, Doc. You need to click up with us, Doc. Yeah. And he says, and I continue to preach the unadulterated truth. Yeah. He started crying when he was doing the interview. Mm -hmm. He said, then I seen God start to add little by little to the park. Now we have two services, three. He said, we kept growing and growing. And they kept coming. Come join up, click up with me. I'll make you a bishop. Yes, I'll Lord. make you an apostle. I'll, I'll. He said, I'm like, I don't need none of that. Yes, Lord. I'm here to give the word and save the lost. Yes, sir. And he says, most of those preachers who told me to walk away from the gospel. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Years later, we're bound to be unholy creatures. Come on, you see what I'm saying? All right. You see what I'm saying? My God, Jesus. The devil sent down to discourage me. Yes, Lord. Because the devil, he don't know the future, but he has a glimpse into the spirit realm. Uh -huh. And he know what God may be trying to do. And he knew I was a true man of God. And he was trying to stop me. Jesus Christ. From all these mega pastors telling me you need to shut up shop and come on. And I, this is where God has been planted. And look at us now. Look at us now. He said, and everything that comes in, we send back out. We buy buses. We Hallelujah. We we're, we're planting other churches. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. He said, we're planting, we're doing Let's what the Spirit church. of God has called us to do. Yes, Lord. Fill this house up, Lord. So don't Fill worry about what you see. Lord, we walk by faith and not by sight. And not by sight. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come. Just a morning, if I walk by sight, I wouldn't be here this morning. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Right. <laughs> that snow is coming down. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be teaching on Wednesday. I wouldn't. Come on. I don't do this. Fill the money. Play. I work. I'm a working pastor. Me too. <laughs> Yeah. 
bigger than her, not stronger than her. But our son respected his mother. How many know when you respond to your mother, all their days will be long? Yes, sir. And my mom 